couple of weeks ago, I wrote this Forbes article that went semi-viral. I was really surprised that people cared about this so much. And basically the headline was something like move over 70, 20, 10 model. The three to one framework is the one to use. And 70, 20, 10 refers to that classic 40 year old framework that says, you know, 70% of our learning is supposed to happen on the job, 20% from our peers and 10% in formal training, like a workshop or a Zoom workshop. And the great thing about this is it, it devalues, it de-emphasizes the workshop part, the formal learning. Uh, it doesn't have to be a workshop. It could be like a, a online learning, e-learning. And, and it, it puts it, the, the attention where it should be on the job. My problem with 70, 20, 10 is that it's theoretically, it sounds great and nobody's applying it. All the directors of leadership development, the CLOs that I talk to, they're not really applying it. And think about yourself. If you have a budget for training and development, for leadership development, whatever it is, is 70% of your budget going to things that will help people to learn or apply it on the job? Or is it most of it going towards formal programs? And even just think about your mind share. You know, someone <laughs> sends you the message, okay, we need to teach people to be more agile. We need to increase resiliency. Does your mind, doesn't it naturally go towards the formal part? Okay, uh, we need to find a vendor who can do the training or who do we know that can do the training? And is it gonna be one day or one hour? Is it gonna be in Zoom or is it gonna be in person? That's all the formal part. How much of your mind is thinking about what are all the on the job activities that would help people to become more resilient or to give better feedback or to take a coach approach. And so the three to one model is intended to be a simple application focused idea where for every one formal learning objective you've got, then have at least three applied things. So for example, let's say you want your managers to do a better job of giving effective feedback or to start giving feedback if they don't do a lot of that. Sure, you want to have them take that e-learning module or come in and do a couple hour workshop, something like that. So how do I do effective feedback? Great, you've, you've learned that model. But then spend as much time and resources thinking about, okay, they know it, but now what's one way they could apply it? Well, next week they could ask for feedback. Okay, so that's setting up that feedback culture and they can practice receiving it and people get used to this idea of feedback. The week after that, maybe they give feedback, but it's all positive feedback. Maybe only it's the third week, the third activity, where they then start to give critical feedback. And after every week, maybe there's a follow-on assignment where they have to fill out you know, a coaching reflection sheet. What went well? What didn't go well? What questions do you have? Um, and, and send that in to you or send that in to their coach. It's a simple contrived example, but it's to say, look, whatever skill you're trying to develop, sure, do the learning, but then have three times more emphasis on the practice, on the trying, on the habit formation. So I hope you found some value in this. And if you actually try to uh, apply it uh, in one of your own programs, let me know how it goes. Thanks.